I got minions stacked up on me. I see where everyone is. They're mid. Look at this. They're all mid. So I'm gonna take this tower. No problem. I'll come over here. And since they're hit, they're 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 allowing me to do this. They're not they're not challenging me. I'm just gonna take their aim. Dodge that stun. Jin, take the stun from Zero. I'm gonna come through here. I was gonna charge up at him, but then I see the Ziggs coming in. Got the stun from Ziggs. I'm running away. Drop the disrespect from Mastery 7. Gotta let them know who they are. They're dealing with the UD here. Hey, yo, what's up, guys and gals? Tricking here with another, actually, this is the first ranked video footage I've ever released for League of Legends, so I'm back trying to rank again, this is Solo Q ranked, Udi or Jungle, hope you guys enjoy it, it's gonna be a little crazy, this one gets a little wild, so uh, make sure you uh, comment below, tell me how you're doing with the Udi or build, if I could do anything different to improve, or maybe you're trying it and you like it, and uh, of course, smash that thumbs up button, hit the like button, whatever it is, and uh, subscribe, yeah, let's get into the video, Woo! All right, here we go, boys. Starting out with that blue. We're obviously going to start with my Q. All right, didn't smite it that time. Moving over here. Now, I have my blue buff, so I'm going to come into turtle. And I'm going to get that dot going, and then I'm going to rotate between turtle and tiger. Apply that dot. See, when you're an UD and you get your blue buff first, it's easy, easy, easy money to spam your spells. You don't burn mana near as bad. That's why I always go blue with Udyr. Uh, going red really cuts down your mana, uh, especially for my play style. So. Coming after here, clearing the wolves. All right, I'm going to go into bear, and I'm going to do a fast clear here. I'm going to fast forward it here, y'all. So they come in, stole my red. Come in here, I'm gonna take my raptors. Just remember, abusing that turtle. Abusing that turtle's fence. I'm always checking lanes. I'm gonna top lane. Come down here, ward that for the top laner. He has no coverage right now. I'm coming through. Taking that Skugs. Now I'm going to check the, this jungle, see if I can steal anything of his. I always try to invade their jungle. Now I'm going to slow it down here real quick. The Ziggs, overextended, no idea I'm coming. Running at, a, running at an angle, forcing him out of the way. Make him run out of his spell. Show him I don't care. I'm going to tax his lane, and I'm going to run out. There's Brand. He's back in lane. I'm not too worried about it now. All right. So notice I'm always checking lanes. I'm always looking over down in lanes. I don't like just to look and see where their minimap is. <laughs> I like to see exactly where everything is. I like to see what they're doing. So I'm back in here after I take romp. I had to get enough gold there to secure a TM mat. Buy my TM mat right off the bat. Pick up a blue ward. And I'm running back down. When you're, when you're looking at your lanes and... There's not any lane gankable. I always just farm. People say, like, oh, you're AFK farming, whatever. That's fine. I'm going to keep myself relevant in the game. And if I can, I'm going to get myself ahead of the gold game. And I'm going to be able to take this game by the horns and run with it. That's the whole point of being a deer jungle is you're going to take control of the game. So mid's backed. I'm coming in here. I am not afraid of this Rangar. I'm running through here. I'm going to take his farm. Anything that's not his, or anything that's his that he, I can take from him, obviously I'm going to do that. That's less gold in his pocket, and more in mine. So I'm going to come around here, kind of looking at a gank here, but I don't want to take too long, right? So I notice my blue buffs up. I don't really, can't get a really good gank on that one there, so I'm heading up to my blue. I got my pink ward in the bush, coming in here, taking this. Running over here, Gromp's out. So at this point, I'm looking at where, if I was a jungler, where would I go next? Uh, I'm heading up mid lane. I see the Ziggs, overextended, not knowing what's going on. I'm going to cut around the back, take a long loop, run into a Rengar. Thinking, okay, I'm going to fight this. I'm going to slap this Rengar. Huge damage from his Q. I flash out. 
I'm not quite ready yet to take on all that damage. The pistol, Ziggs, he's still coming at me. I'm gonna turtle up here, and I'm gonna get away. I'm not gonna back, I'm not gonna run away. All right, Brand was able to secure the kill. I'm gonna use that, all right, and then, oh, so Ranger picked up Brand. I'm gonna use my smite to pick up some health, and then by doing that, I'm gonna clear that. He's pinging at me, I don't care. I'm not too worried about it. Why am I not worried about what he thinks? Because I know I'm gonna take control of this game. I'm gonna play this smart. I'm gonna play my game plan, my way, not his way. If you start, if that's what you're gonna start losing is if you start giving into your strategy. If you go into someone else's strategy, right? Stick with your comfortable with, learn the game, understand how to control lanes and how to manage the game, and you're gonna be really successful. So here I am. Cleaning all this up here. I'm gonna speed it up for you. So I'm gonna speed it up. We're moving through. I see that Swain's pushing top. I'm running through here. I'm gonna ward that for some vision for him. Now they river scuds. I see that Rangar's are blue. I'm gonna run up back towards. This is the key part. I'm running back towards my teammate, right? Now it's a 2v2. I'm gonna run in here, try to kill this Trinomir, hit him with the bear, hit him with the dot. Now he uses his ult. I'm gonna run around here. Notice his bear waiting. Right now, I'm gonna run after now. I'm thinking, okay, this Rengar is gonna flash over the wall. Nope, landed him. Boom. Swain with the major assist on that Rengar. And that's a double kill for me. And now I've got a gold lead. I'm only, I'm not only at see how CSing this Rengar, I now have a major gold lead on him. That's two kills. I'm gonna be able to take control of his game and his jungle and play the game my way. And so I'll, now, what am I doing? I'm running around, I'm checking his farm. I see this Ziggs is overextended. No, absolutely no map wearing inside the wall. Now I'm gonna run here, I'm gonna keep him away from me to run underneath his tower. If he flashes behind me, it is what it is. He can't. Look at that. With the failed attempt there, boom. I'll take it. Feed the brand. Get the brand ahead of them. Every Glane wants to be ahead in gold and kills. I have no problem hand distributing kills. I'm gonna come over here. This is a free dragon, baby. I'm taking it. I ain't mad. Right? I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna take this dragon. I'm gonna try to pull it out here a little bit. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna run down here. The fresh land of the hook. Take the lantern. Come over here. With the slap. I'm gonna run back. I'm not gonna chase. I don't wanna chase this. Now I'm gonna come back in because the ranger's in there. Hit him with the dot. He's down. Now this dragon is really free. Alright, dodge and gin. Shooting his all at me. There's the zero off. All right, the ult from Jin is over. That's the best part about that is you can just strafe back and forth, and there's nothing they can do about it. So I'm gonna come back through here, right? This Jin, I don't understand this. He saw that we were there. He knew what we were doing, and he decided that he was going to. Oh, with the brand with a massive damage. Holy cow! Now look at the zero off. They're complete. All they want to do is get underneath the tower. They don't know to run away. All they care about is I gotta get underneath my tower. Oh, Xeroth is a little bit more damage. I'm not that tanky yet. I'm going to head out of here, and I'm going to back. It's really successful for me. Really successful for me in that run there. Now, I'm, I got a paycheck. I'm going to go cash it in. All right, now that I'm back, I'm going to pick up uh, all this paycheck, all this money. Do I pick up a jungle? I'm going to go uh, Titanic Hydra. Have that right off the bat. <clears throat> and I'm going to my jungle. I'm making money. I'm looking at my lanes. Bot lane looks good, mid lane, brands ahead, top lane, no one's in it right now. I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna clear my jungle. Run up here. Take care of Grom. <laughs> Not Grom. Take care of Golems. Easy. Right, coming through here. Now this is a ranked game, so I have a little more expectations for wards. Nothing. Got the flash. Tax that lane. I'm not mad about it. Now, I'm coming down here. Slowing it down here. I'm looking for Rengar's jungle items. Checking his items compared to mine. Right? Now, I notice that Rengar is back up top. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to run up there. I'm going to cut underneath the tower, tank the turret damage, knowing, okay, now there's no way Rengar can get away from me. Right? Flash try to get around him, he still got the E on me somehow. I'm not really sure how. So I'm gonna run away. I think I just saw him jump over there. I'm gonna loop back around here. I doubt I can get it. Mid showing missing. So I'm gonna head back into my jungle. 
missed an opportunity there, a prime opportunity to get the kill on Rengar. He's scared of me, I'm not scared of him. Cat and mouse game, he won that round. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna take my red. And I'm gonna get back to farm. So I'm gonna speed it up here. Come over here, get my red. Top jungle's clear. Checking the stats, checking the scoreboard, seeing who needs help. Coming through, obviously. Gonna clear my wolves real quick. All right. Hit the blue buff. Now, I'm not one to usually give out my uh, my uh, buffs to people. That's not really who I am. So I'm looking at bot lane. I'm indicating I'm coming in, baby. I want this. I want some of this. They're overextended. They have no idea what's going on. Luckily, I don't have flash. They got the kill on the gin. No problem. The zero flash is out. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to kind of push this wave a little bit. Now, because right now, this is a three on two. I like the advantage. I just cleared my top and bottom jungle, so I don't really have much jungle to go press unless it's theirs, but they're showing 2 3 bot lane. Landed the hook on a gear off, run around. Couldn't get to him in time. I got minion blocked by the tower. Swain tanking the turret. We'll take that tower down. First turret down. We just lost our other turret to Trinomir top lane. That's okay. So I'm moving in here. I'm going to come right around here. See this. Didn't get an assist on that one either. I've missed having quite a few assists on this. So now we've got four showing bot. I know top lane's getting pushed in. I know Rengar's down here. I see my ADC's weak. Slap the Rengar. Here comes the Trinomir. I, Trinomir has to go down. I have to stop him. i got to peel him off my ADC. I'm going to run up. I'm going to slap him in there. He's got, you know, obviously, he's used his ult. I'm going to keep slapping him. Got him. Now, we've got the numbers on this one, and we don't have the minions, though. So, I'm going to kind of hang back here. Instead of running away, I'm going to take his jungle. I'm going to get me some gold. I'm always farming, guys. I'm always farming, no matter what. That's what people don't understand, is I'm always farming. I'm making money. I want that paycheck. Come in here. Look at that wave. Boom. Hit the cannon. We're just kind of hanging out here. Kind of wasting time. Not a big fan of it, but I'm looking at other lanes. I know his red buff's coming up. I'm indicating, okay, I'm going to his red buff. I want it. I'm taking it. Coming over here. Slap it down to Tiger. Smite it. I want it. I want to secure it. Now, I see the Rengar's coming. Probably chasing that Thresh. Knowing that Brand is there, too. I'm coming in here. Avoid that. Come in. Slap the Zig. Boom, boom, boom. Hit him. Slap the Rengar. That's two kills. Avoid the ult. And I'm out. I'm done chasing. And now I'm going to take mid lane. I'm going to run up here. I see Ezreal's got mid. I'm going to assist on it. That's a Jin trying to defend the tower. Useless. Wasting his time. Wasting my time. I'm going to move into his jungle now. Notice how I'm in his jungle. So I'm going to clear this up for you. Speed it up. Not clear it up. I'm going to speed it up. Clear his wolves. Come up, take Grom. Now notice how I put a ward there. I like to know when I see people coming. All right, I know Brand's got top lane. I'm gonna back here. I can't decide. Nope. I decide I'm gonna run back. Run over here. I'm gonna take this. I don't have enough gold for the item I wanted. Now I can buy the Triforce in full. He hits the bush, shows the awareness. So I'm gonna back out a little bit. I know Trinomir's here. Not too scared of Trinomir just yet. Don't know if I can solo him if he has ult. But I'm gonna hit this, show him a little bit of fear. Run into his ear off. I'm gonna run off now. Now here I am avoiding the zero spells. Avoid the gin. Just hit through the zig stun. And I'm gonna stand over here. Now we got three guys. Alright, they got one guy showing bot. I know I can get a drive force. No, I'm back. Assuming Grand has enough wave clear and enough ability. Plus you have the other two there that we can take care of this. I'm gonna buy that drive force rolling up front. Now I don't notice I don't have my boots or a jungle item yet part of this game. I no boots, no jungle item. And yet, I'm still 6-1, six 6-0, and one, six and oh, something like that. So, watch that ult. He, he snipes through the ult. No big deal. Doesn't even tickle me. Brand's done a good job of shutting him down this game. Didn't get a single CS there, and now I see the Trindomir there. Now I'm going to go back to farm. That's what I do, and that's what I do best over here. Oh, take the golems. Brand picks up a double kill. It's nice. He's getting strong.
someone over here. Now, I could push top lane, but I'm going to continue to form my jungle. I feel like there's going to be a team fight coming up. I kind of want to stay near my team. In a sense. On a, I moved here. I'm pretty quick. I don't have boots yet, but I'm still pretty fast with that bear stamp. So, I want to be able to, uh, to get close to them fast. I should be pushing top lane right now. I do know it. I'm running up there. Okay, so they got covered on me now. I know these guys are getting killed. I'm running in. Thinking, okay, we're going to chase these guys down. Running them down, they got a Rengar and you got a Zeroth. Swain here, tank and turret hits. Get the Ezreal here. Not too worried about it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back to farming. Speed it back up here. Run up. Look at this free wave here. Ezreal's gonna come in. At least I got the caddy. I'm gonna run back down here. Now I see the Rengar down here. I'm gonna jump this. Now I'm running over here. See the Rengar. I'm coming, alright, I got a flash, he misses E, oh, and he gets out with a flash. Very elusive, very elusive. But, I mean, I kind of expect that when you play, uh... Oh, Ezreal's got him. I kind of expect it when you play ranked games, I expect a little more elusiveness. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna take this tower. Alright, running up, now Ziggs is running, I got hit by the Jin. Now I'm running up on this, hoping Thresh can land a hook, lands the hook, throws up, Cues him back into me. I hit him with the bear stamps. Good night. Seven and seven and zero right now. now. I come in. I see Ezreal's taking some damage. Coming in. Now he's trying to take the red buff, so I'm gonna let him have it. I notice that Brand is having trouble up top. Right? Trimmer is very difficult for Brand. There you go. Trimmer takes Brand down. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna run up. I'm looking through his farm. Now I'm gonna put a ward there. Boom. I'm gonna take his blue buff. I mean, I didn't have to speed that up. I'm getting pretty strong. I, I'm not as straight, quite as strong as I'd like to be. Oh, there's Trindamir. I figured I'd intercept him. He's gone. Take the scuds. Get my health back to full. I'm moving on. No one, there's a Rengar here. Lands the hook nicely down the thresh. We're going to come in here, hit him with a dot. 9 and 0. Run over here, see Xeroth. Using his ult. He's got an only more. Pushing him towards my teammate. Alright, that's the important part. Did you see that right there? Okay, before we uh before we go back and watch the rest of this fight, let me let me replay that real quick. So I'm gonna slow this down here. I come in on bear form. See the Xeroth in his ult form. Cancel his ult. Alright? Now I come running up. I'm gonna charge the opposite direction he's going, make him sidestep back towards my teammate. Then he's gonna have to face a choice. 2v1. Or just face you near the jungle. Obviously, I didn't go well for him. All right. So, anyways, back to where we were. We're running up here, seeing the Jin. Now, the Jin, right, running off into the woods by himself instead of going towards tower. Not really sure, but I made him pay for it. No problem. I'm gonna charge back at the Ziggs, thinking, all right, if you want some, you can have some, bud. Now, I'm gonna come down here. Look at this. This is free gold. All of this down here, free gold. Hit the caddy, 50 gold, 22, 19, look at, oh yeah baby, I'll take that every day of the week, that's a paycheck. Alright, now I'm coming up here, I'm 11 and 0. Alright, now I notice that the Trinimir is coming, not really sure what the surrender is about here. Now I'm going to back off just a hair, alright, and I'm going, am I going towards Dragon? Yeah, I think I'm going towards Dragon, we do have a pink on it. I'm running up here, yep, Dragon's coming up. I'm gonna take this scud real quick because I still got a little bit of time. I don't like standing around. I want that money. 76 gold in the bank. Hit that dragon. Come in here. I can solo this thing, no problem. I don't need help. Rengar would be dumb to come in here. I'll kill him. It's not a big deal. Alright, they got vision on me. Hit him with that. Boom. Look at that. With the old attempts by Ziggs. I mean, you gotta try. It's ranked. You have to give an effort. Coming over here, gonna get Grump, and I'm back to farming. Look at my gold count. I'm still farming. I want to get paid. Coming over here, I'm taking this. No lane other than top lane is really needing assistance right now. So I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna be stronger than ever, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take down this trend. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna buy my jungle item, I'm gonna pick up some boots, I'm gonna start building a uh, board. Blade of the Rune King, for those that don't know Bork is, or what Bork is, not who, what. I'm gonna run down mid, charge it down. Come in here, this top wave is contained and pushed out. I'm gonna come through clear that wave. Now this is where it's gonna get interesting. I see that they're low, I'm coming in. Now I got their, their flashes and I'm healed. So I'm running in, 
Got bear form. I'm looking like I'm running out, but really and truly, I'm running right back in. I want them to feel safe. Come in. Now, there's a pink. That's fine. They can have it. Got the stun on me. There's the gin with the stun. There's a zero coming in from the side. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Dodging, dodging. Oh, 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 oh. Jin got lucky. And that's okay. I'll take it. Alright, so I pick up my blue trinket. Dude, watch it mid. That's the worst part about dying. Watch it when I'll play. Alright, I'm back. Through. I'm only at 400 gold. That's nothing. I'm broke. Checking mid, watching Ezreal back. I'm through. I'm going to take my blue. Take Grom. I'm going to run down here. Now, this is, this is free gold. This is free gold, baby. Look at that paycheck. I'm here, I'm going to clear this wave. I got minions stacked up on me. I see where everyone is. They're mid. Look at this. They're all mid. So, I'm going to take this tower. No problem. I'm gonna come over here, and since they're 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 allowing me to do this, and they're not they're not challenging me, I'm just gonna take their engine. Dodge that stun, and take the stun from Zeroth. I'm gonna come through here. Oh, I was gonna charge up at him, and I see the Ziggs coming in. Got the stun from the Ziggs. I'm running away. Drop the disrespect from Mastery Seven. Gonna let them know who they are. They're dealing with the Udi here. Eleven and one right now. I'm gonna come through, and I'm going straight for his red. Alright, so after we take red, head up here, come through here, clear this wave, it's free gold. Come in here, I'm going to try to take this tower, too much CC on it, I'm out, I'm not going to waste my time. Back in the jungle, taking his wolves, come up here, notice that there's some sort of shadows on there he is. Slap the Rengar, just get rid of him, I mean, he's deleted, absolutely gone. Run the Ziggs here, has no idea I'm here. Thresh takes the kill. Give him the thumbs up. No big deal. Come over here. Just destroy this tower. Trinomir is absolutely useless. I have no fear against him. Rape him. Come down here. Run past him. Oh, the zero gets the stun just before I can tag him. That's alright. Ezreal gets tagged by the Jin. Come over here. Take all this. Watch Ezreal take it. I'm gonna stand in front of him with Turtle. I'm going to move around. Moving back up to mid lane. I'm going to come up here, take all this free gold. Like my paychecks. Come over here, I notice the drag's going to be up here. I'm going to take the scuds, get some vision in the river. Come through here, wait for the dragon. Take down dragon, no problem. I'm going to back because I have enough for my Blade of the Rune King. That's very important. Plus I have 1400 gold after that. I'm gonna pick, start picking up stuff for Spirit Visage. Give me a little bit of uh, MR. So I'm coming down here. I'm gonna kinda help push this in. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of just poking. Team fights. They've, they've got better poking than us. That's zero. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, there goes uh, Thresh. I'm gonna run it because I noticed Trindamir is pushing down bot lane. So I'm gonna run all the way up here. Once I get up here, he's gonna take it down, unfortunately. So now it's just Weaver's him. I'm gonna come in. Destroy him there, but of course he's got his ult, so I'm hammering him down, trying to get him. We kill each other. That was a tough match. Trinomir's a tar champion, especially if he's somewhat decent with his item build. And, uh, he's got oh, this match lasted a little long time. Long death timer. Watch him take down our turrets. Put good pressure on our inhib turret. Watching a couple kills. Good hook by the Thresh. Couldn't land the lantern. Running around. I see Xeroth running. Alright, I come in here and take my blue. They're still chasing him. I'm thinking, okay, he went this way. Oh, and I see him right there. Luckily, I was able to smack him and just eliminate Xeroth in two, three hits. So after Xeroth is down, we're all pinging for Baron. It's a good call. I'm only letting everybody know. We only need one or two of these guys. I can do most of the damage here on my own. Come up here. Take down the Darren. Zig with the attempt, a late attempt, but I'm coming in here, chasing Zig, it's not going to work, he's going to come over here, I'm going to take this blue, see Zig on the other side here, hear the flash, I'm going to come running down here, now there's Rengar, still got me with the stun, nicely done on Zig, look at this, CC galore on myself, I'm just running over here, assuming they can handle that Jin, I'm chasing after this Rengar, 
I need to take care of him from the equation. There's the Trindamir. I know, okay, I'm going to get 3v1 here in a second. Doing everything I can to get out of the situation. I have to flash out. Don't want to lose the Baron buff. They're not going to chase me anymore. They know that that's just not going to work well for them. So I'm going to run my way up. So right now we are down three to their one. Not good odds, but we do have Baron. So I'm going to run back, get up some health, finish my Spirit Visage, and get full build. So they're coming in, taking the in hit. I'm going to do my best to defend. They're chasing them, running away. I'm going to clear that wave. Tell everybody we need to group up. We need to end this. Right? We're getting too strong. This game's going on way too long. All right, I'm moving with you. I'm kind of pushing lanes here. Now I'm smacking for Vision, knowing they got Vision on Elder. There's the Trindamir. I'm thinking, okay, we got this. Just going to eliminate Trindamir real quick. Of course he's going to use his ult. He's going to try to kill me, so I'm going to run away. Avoid that Ziggs ult. Run out here. I'm going to charge back in. Okay, they only got the hook. Good job on Brand for that kill. Run over here. We want this Elder. We need this Elder Dragon. It's very important. I'm going to come in here. They're destroying them on their own. My team is. So I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to take Elder. Quick, easy farm. All right, running down mid here. Going to take this wave here. We don't have a minion wave coming, so I'm going to run through here. Rengar runs for me. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take this. We need to get pressure back on them. Get out of the channel range. Useless. Come through here. Clean their camp real quick. Run back here. I need to take back this mid lane. I need to get a push in the other direction. All right, there's their whole team running down mid. So I'm telling everybody we need to group. We need to do this. Dropping a little bit of disrespect. Getting ready for this fight. Come on over here. I see the Trindamir on the mini map pushing bot lane. All right, so he's got his GA. So we're going to come through and we're going to eliminate him. Now there's his ult. There's his ult. I'm going to come in. I'm going to smack him. All right, now there's his resurrecting. Here we go. Run over there. Boom. We got rid of Trindamir. That's a huge key for us. Now, they're pushing top lane in hard, so I'm indicating we need, we need to come top. We need to go top. I'm letting everybody know the Udyr is going to be there. We need everybody there. Now, notice how I trade through the minions. Come through. Break the chin. Come through. Destroy Xeroth. We aced him. So I'm letting everybody know we have to get, we're moving, we're moving. I'm telling one person to stay back and defend. I'm telling everybody I need help. Thresh is saying he's going to tank this tower. We're going to come in. We're going to ignore this minion wave. Our wave's coming behind us. Coming through. I'll take taking the tower now. We'll rotate in. Take that out. Now, this is what I understand. This Trindamir doesn't have his ult, doesn't have his GA, and just speeds like this. I'm not really sure. That's what a lot of bronze players do is they just come running out when something like that comes in instead of strategically waiting. So you got Xeroth coming in. Trying for the kill. Rengar's getting chased off by me. You got Ziggs coming in with trying to hit the stand on the stun. And there's nothing going on. I'm letting the team know to be careful. I'm moving my way back. Down goes Swain from the Rengar. That's a big loss for us. I'm taking this blue. I need that extra cooldown. And now I'm backing. I know we got to defend. I'm looking at these minion waves here and I'm thinking, okay. We got to take down a couple more turrets and it's... So I finished back, and I can't really buy anything. I can't. I was thinking about selling something, but now nah, I'm going to keep moving. Stick with my build. Stick with what I know. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to take this. Just got to get that, you know. Pack, pack the stats there, baby. Get those uh, get those stats up. Get that CS count up. I'm pinging for Baron. We're going to need this Baron here. Where it's 5v5 right now. Destroy that ward in the bush. Now, I notice that here comes Trindamir. Not really understanding what Trindamir is doing here. Again, running on a 3v1. But he's trying to blow me down. That's fine. I'm running out of the view. I don't want anyone to come in. Letting them know. Okay, here I come. Avoid the Ziggs ult. Come through here. All right, Thresh, it's time to go. Swain comes through with the kill. Brand and Swain doing the cleanup crew after me and Thresh just took everything they had to throw at us. And here we come. We're coming in. This Baron is ours. Look at the zero off with the CC. Attempted for CC. No, I missed the hook because of the Ziggs bomb. That's okay. Swain chasing him down. He's strong. We're fed. Coming in. He's doing a, giving us a great barrier chance opportunity here. Ended right there. We got the barrier. It's time to shove it down. So their team's ace. I'm going to run it down here. I'm going to push this wave in. I have the minion waves. It's one turret standing in my way. I'm going to come in here. Throw a little bit of disrespect in there. Get the last hit. That's plus 50. 
Take the victory. Get those honors. I'll take it. I'll take it. Just kind of looking at everything here. People saying good job, Udir. Uh, looking over here. What is it? 19 and 2, 4 assists, 347 CS. I'm looking here. The next closest person had 338, and that was Trinamir, who was pushing lanes like crazy. The gold count difference is. Uh, uh, that's where everything. That's the difference in the game right here. People don't understand that. That's that's the most important part of the whole game. You have twenty three thousand gold compared to the next highest person was Trinamir with nineteen thousand. Anyways, yeah. So when you uh, when you when you put the game plan and always farm and know where to go and how to manage lanes, you uh, you get compared to Trick Two G all the time and get accused of. I don't want to be in your next video. Go ruin someone else's elo and you know all the other. Uh, all the other perks that go with it, but, uh, anyways, thanks for watching, this was kind of a longer video, but there was a lot to do, this is a long ranked game, um, yeah, it was, uh, my second game back in ranked, the first one, I had a rage quit, so, felt good to really bust loose, 19-2-4, 23,000 gold, I'll take it, see y'all in the next video, this is Trick King, out.